This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. This is Monster My Podcast. And this is Gotamon. There's a monster in my podcast. Gotta catch them all. Got them on. Yeah, no, I was going to say it sounds like a like a Digimon, but, uh, you know, any of these. Sounds like a GoBot. Like, like a religious di- di- Digimon. <laughs> I'm sure. Like I mean, like, there, there, there are Pokemon that are gods, right? Well, I was just thinking Ar- about, Arceus like, or... yeah, yeah, there's definitely, like, I think, I think at this point, like, fully a fourth of the Pokemon are secretly gods. <laughs> <laughs> Which is real weird that the, the cosmology of that has never been, like, never, never really been solidified. They're just like, they just keep on adding to it and never overwriting. Well, just, and just the fact that there's this, like, thing where, like, kids just worship an animal mm. that you can go catch. Yes. Like, if you're good enough, you can go catch God in a tiny little ball. And it doesn't even have to be a luxury ball. Like, it could be a fucking net ball. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then you just own a God. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about a, like, Christian knockoff Pokemon. Oh. That, like, t- talking about saints or something. Or, like, one of those, um, or just one of those t-shirts, like, instead of Jack Daniels, it's Book of Daniel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but for Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> you know? Like, m- m- like m- Methuselah, Methuselah X. Mm. You know? <laughs> like Methuselah, the Holy Gaslight. Methuselah you know? rookie card. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, um, so got, got him on. Uh, this is from the, uh, from the book of Ibon. And mm-hmm. it is, he's, he's, a, he's a big old booger who's got some skulls what in him. He's great. Yeah. He's got really uh, big Symphony of the Night one-off enemy energy. <laughs> like one hallway in Symphony of the Night has this thing in it. Yeah. But and you of... never see it again. God, I, so I, I love in these descriptions, when you're not held to anything, you can describe something as bluish brown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. a, bl- a bluish brown mucoidal substance. Uh, nothing yep. has ever been a mixture of blue and brown. <laughs> I, I can imagine it. Uh, yeah, I, can, I, I, can got, I got a mind's eye but... for blue, blue brown. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know. Um, so, so it's this little like this booger, this Musinex, uh, Musinex Italian. <laughs> and he's uh, except instead of uh, legs, arms and a fucking job, he has a bunch of skulls. <laughs> that, uh, that, you know, <laughs> I, love the idea, I love the idea of like unemployment shaming got him on. <laughs> no, I was unemployment shaming the Musinex goblin. Oh, OK, but the uh, so the uh, I always, the, like, I always the mi- mi- mix up the Musinex, go- Musinex goblin with the Lamisil gremlin. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're, cousins. they're cousins. Okay. Um, right. The uh, so he's he's this booger, and he has all these you know pseudopods that he's, like, he's basically world of goo. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then his the cool thing about him is he sends out his little strands, and they're really weak individually. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you get more of them on you, they get incredibly strong, and they pull you towards skulls that like lift in and out of his like goo mm-hmm. to eat you. Yeah. Like he just straight up eats you. There's nothing, mm-hmm. you know, there's nothing secret or anything like that. He just like tries to bite you. He's just hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty scary. You know, you're just being pulled into this booger and skulls start surfacing from it. Yeah. Like from the slime and stuff. Yeah, That's just pretty the, great. The, the, the skull bubbles up to the top, like the, like, like the inside of an magic eight ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly like that. I was going to say like some kind of sinister soup skin, but <laughs> yours is much scarier and more accurate. Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv.